which is the hottest, spiciest chili pepper you have ever tasted or known? For me, if you ask me this question, it's the Thai chilies, we call them green chilies, or habanero peppers, or uh, alabino, or uh, the regular ones which we try, Tabasco, that's, that's, that's the only chili spices I know. But do you know that in the world there are around 33,000, sorry, 3,000 varieties of spices and the hotter, the, the redder it is and the, uh, you can sell them, uh, the smaller it is and the red it is, then it's the spiciest chili pepper. So welcome to our spice series. It's week 34 and we are going to talk about three hot health benefits of chili pepper, red chili. Okay, so our spice, uh, our spice is mostly related to red chili powder, but we are going to have a look over all of those, uh, including the um, the chili peppers or even the green chilies, or a little bit about all the chilies, cayenne pepper and paprika. So stay tuned till the end. Okay, so welcome to Sona Motivates. Sona Motivates here to eat healthy, be happy, and enjoy every moment. So guys, chilies get their characteristic spice or the hot and spicy kick from the alkaloid named capsaicin. And more the capsaicin, the hotter the heat, the more heat producing the chilies are. Now, while we are talking about this uh, heat or the spiciness of the chilies, do you know that the chilies have their own uh, spice measuring unit and it's called the Scoville heat unit. And uh, we'll call it uh, SHU for, for uh, ease of uh, let, uh, improving our video so, so we can uh, fast forward. Anyway, so it's Scoville heat unit and uh, the bell pepper, it ranks zero. Uh, so SHU ranks zero at first and all the way, it extends to all the way to the ghost pepper. And we are going to know more about which is the spiciest uh, pepper, chili pepper in the world. Okay, so bell pepper ranges from zero, but then the, in the jalapeno, Tabasco, or cayenne pepper, or habanero, they land in between those, um, between these range. And the spiciest for a couple of, till a couple of years ago was the one called as ghost pepper or naga jolokia. And it is from India and it has million. Uh, around SHU, it has million scoville heat units and uh, till a couple of years back it was supposed to be the spiciest pepper in the world but these days the, the most spiciest one is the Carolina Reaper and it has more than 2 million SHU and do you know that it is actually a, a, a cross between habanero uh, and the red pepper. Uh, sorry, not red pepper, red habanero and the ghost pepper. So that is the, we just call it the Naga Jalokia. So it's the cross between those. It is 200 times uh, spicier or hotter than jalapeno peppers. So you can imagine how ho uh, hot or spicy it is. So Carolina Reaper is the spiciest uh, pepper known to the world right now. And uh, now let's explore the chili powder or chili peppers together. And I do see come some couple of uh, uh, friends, you know, familiar faces here. Thank you very much for joining. So the chili pepper or the chili is actually the fruit of a plant named the cap capsicum pepper plant. And chili peppers, uh, they were first cultivated in Central and South America regions. Um, and it is very well known around that region, you know, eating spicy food. And we before uh, knowing about all these, I thought actually the, the chilies or the chili pepper or the spicy food is known only to India. But, uh, but uh, it was very interesting to know that Mexicans or Mexico is the best place for the chili peppers or trying all the chili or the spicy recipes and Mexico alone is the home for 150 varieties of chili peppers or the chilies. And um, you know, today they are, these peppers you know, are go, grown all over the world, including China, Mexico, Spain, Nigeria, and Turkey. And um, uh, they, these are the largest commercials, uh, commercial producers of chili paper. But, uh, but um, it is more commonly used in Asia, definitely in India, um, than Caribbeans and Mexico, Central and South America. So that's where the chilies or the heat uh, or the spicy food is more popular. Now, uh, like we just saw that Mexico is the 
place where it is more, you know, they experimented a lot of chili recipes. And um, we know that hotter the chili, it is smaller and it is redder. But it uh, it is better. It has those all antioxidants and especially they have the more quantity of capsaicin which is the healthy alkaloid and which is actually which is the main cause of uh, giving all the health benefits so, so more the um, uh, more spicier the, the chili or chili paper is uh, the more it has the capsaicin and the better it is for health but it doesn't mean that you have to always burn yourself by eating this chili to get the health benefits even on the smaller scale they do have the uh, health benefits and they are uh, they are good to be consumed. So it is always better to have some kind of these chilies or some kind of meat in your food instead of having the bland food. That's what it means. And I do see some of familiar friends and thank you very much for joining all of you guys. Chroma, Sneha and uh, thank you and keep watching. Okay, so let's move on. So what's healthier about our chili papers or the red chili powder or in general all the papers we are going to talk about. So they are loaded with antioxidants. We know that they have this capsaicin. We also have to know, and it is very, very important to know that the chilies contain nine times more vitamin A than green pepper. And it contains twice as much as vitamin C than the orange. So do consume at least an ounce. Try to consume at least one or two teaspoons of chili paper every day. Red chili powder, chili pepper in some form. Red, uh, Even the peppers, bell peppers is a good idea. Okay. And the, these chili peppers, are they are um, they are very loaded with and they have uh, all these uh, minerals in them. And especially the magnesium and potassium which are very, very good for health. Okay. So now this is very interesting and you have to know it. That when you feel spicy you eat some spicy food or you burn your mouth what exactly you do or for anybody else we just grab a bottle of water and give them the water and that's the very very wrong thing we do because chili is actually any kind of that chili heat or the capsaicin it's not water soluble it is in fact fat or alcohol soluble so next time somebody is having that burn fire in their mouth because of eating the spicy or chili food make sure that you give them either beer and that's a bad idea because it sometimes it's not handy so uh, maybe milk yogurt peanut butter or ice cream is the better idea to soothe the fire in your mouth Okay, so next time you do that and don't grab the water because it actually makes it worse. So this is going to uh, give them more more heat, more spice in their mouth and uh, it's harder to, uh, to make, uh, it's harder for them. Uh, so make sure you uh, help them with the uh, either fat or alcohol. Okay, let's move on with, uh, if you have uh, the chilies or any kind of, um, uh, any kind of pepper in your eyes, what usually what we do is we will wash it with water or saline water and that's a very good idea. So that's the best we can do, uh, but um, make sure you, you are careful about it because it's very painful. Uh, and the next part is if you, uh, if you have those chilies while cooking, if you end up you know, touching the chilies or the chili powder, you make sure that uh, you either wear the gloves or if you end up, you know, using the uh, using the chilies or these any kind of peppers uh, by cooking with the hands uh, then maybe the the best is wash it right away with soap and warm water rub a little alcohol if it's available but if it is not um, maybe uh, rubbing a little bit of oil is a good idea that helps to uh, you know pain the tingle the, the pain or you can say the burn in your fingers so I do remember one one of my incident uh, very very precise that one of the uh, parties we had planned that 31st December party, New Year's party and I was asked to make the jalapeno papers, uh, poppers, sorry, the jalapeno poppers and I was new and I had no clue how spicy jalapeno could be. So what I did is, uh, as usual, you know, I, we just, uh, I just made a slit and I, I removed all the seeds with my bare hands without the gloves and after maybe, because it was a party, it's a, it was a huge party and I cooked a lot, uh, after I think 20, 25 
the peppers after peeling and taking the seeds oh my god my hands were on fire especially my fingers they were on fire it was very very painful and little did i know that alapino has that many shu i would have been very careful about it anyway so next time you have to cook with these spicy chilies make sure you either have gloves or uh, gloves on or you put it oil or alcohol uh, on your fingers Okay, so this was all about the chili so far, and thank you, Saurabhi and Kumkum, for joining in. Please stay tuned for more of these amazing, interesting facts about chilies. Okay, so now we are going to see the health benefits, and this is very, very um, interesting because do you know that eating chili can help you lose weight, and it is great for weight loss. Yes, and it has been and there were, it has been proven. There were so many scientific studies uh, around it, and it, um, uh, the scientists have proved that for digestive capsaicin that is the alkaloid in the chilies, uh, your body actually it raises the body heat and um, then it, uh, you start sweating and it increases the metabolic rate so it helps you lose weight uh, numerous studies also has a, have proved that if you eat chilies or the spicy food you burn more calories and you eat less and people used to think oh maybe because you know we drink a lot of water uh, because it's spicy that's why we eat less but it's that's not the deal um, the, there are a lot of scientific evidence that uh, you don't feel like eating more when you have uh, spicy food and you end up eating actually less fat when you have the chilies in your meal and the the very very interesting one the next one is that eating chilies at breakfast made people less hungry for the lunch or dinner and uh, uh, actually it was very very interesting that when we came uh, to the uh, united states uh, we thought it was uh, it was actually very alarming for us to notice that all the breakfast were sweet so everything we ate in the morning you know everything had syrup in it and back home we were so used to eating some kind of spice in the um, in the breakfast and it doesn't have to be the burning hot but we definitely had the flavor of spice maybe just a couple of these uh, two or three of these thai chilies in uh, in some kind of a, a dish we made or even a little bit a pinch of this red chili powder uh, in the um, in maybe curry we made so it was always something with a little bit of spice and it uh, little bit did we know that it was actually helping us uh, stay fit and not gain weight uh, but then of course of, uh, after we had adopt, uh, adapted the lifestyle here we we uh, re realized that um, that it has a lot of sweet uh, options here but of course you can always have the uh, black pepper on your um uh, scrambled eggs or you can add a little bit of these uh, the chopped chilies or in your omelette uh, in your egg omelette so that way you also have these uh, uh, healthier options and of course if you are vegan then uh, the sky is limit because then you can always use these in your a little bit of uh, pepper or even this red chili powder in your smoothie can go a long way i have uh, tried using black pepper sometimes in my smoothie uh, but uh, it's little <laughs> little difficult for the kids so i stopped it but uh, maybe you know if you are doing it for yourself make sure you add a little bit of spice in your smoothies as well for the extra health benefit okay so let's see our second health benefit and that is eating chilies can help arthritis okay now capsicum actually it, it offers the relief from any kind of pain and inflammation uh, the capsicin and uh, studies show that it increases levels of synovial fluid uh, which lubricates the joints Okay, and this also prevents the uh, breakdown of the cartilage. Actually, it helps to, to hold on. So, it helps uh, to uh, not uh, the arthritis. It helps to relieve from the arthritis pain. Now, the pain, uh, a couple of years ago, the scientists also discovered a, a ointment or a cream with this cap uh, capsaicin uh, alkaloid and they also tried uh, uh, and experimented on the um, on some of the individuals by you know rubbing these uh, this cream uh, at least four times a day for two week, uh, two months and then they realized that these people actually started uh, healing from the osteoarthritis and after the 
three or four months, actually 81% of them, um, uh, they um, declared, they told that they had decreased arthritic conditions and even the stiffness in the morning was reduced. So uh, there, there is definitely this scientific uh, study about how eating chilies can help arthritis, how it can help you lose weight. And last but not least is eating chilies can improve the cholesterol levels. Yes. Uh, hello, Katiba for joining. Hello, Bina. And thank you very much. And let's move on to our third health benefit that eating chilies can improve the cholesterol levels. Okay. So what happens when you have have chilies or any kind of pepper or spice in your uh, in your diet every day is that it helps lower the high cholesterol now it, how by breaking down the cholesterol from the body uh, it prevents the buildup it prevents it again from getting into the place and it helps the removal and it excretes the bad cholesterol from your body and it makes sure that the good cholesterol still it it's st still you know the it's um, level still keeps in increasing so it reduces the bad cholesterol and it keeps the good cholesterol intact so that how these uh, chilies or uh, even the chili powder or any kind of papers help us uh, in in uh, having this best health benefits of uh, for our bodies so what exactly you can in what forms you can have this chili chilies or chili powder so we have definitely seen the black pepper long uh, not many weeks back so it's 34th week uh, so uh, so i don't even remember remember which week was it when we talked about the um, black pepper but anyways please go ahead scroll it on our uh, youtube or maybe on our uh, facebook page and just check which uh, week was it with the black pepper but you can have the black pepper you can have the red chili powder you can have the cayenne pepper you can have the paprika or the chilies in any form of course i'm not very comfortable with the spice of habanero or uh, jalapeno but uh, it's up to you if you really really enjoy having spicy food then be uh, be the person uh, to experiment and try it okay so this is what about the chilies and what more do i have to add yes i cannot forget about this so can you make a difference between which is which so this one is paprika this one is the cayenne pepper now, what is the difference between people always ask, can we substitute one of them with the other one? Let me also show you the red chili powder. And this is a very common in our, our households. So, okay. No, you cannot uh, substitute one uh, for the another because now you can see the paprika, it is the mildest. Even though it looks very, very bright, it just adds the color. It is actually from more of the sweet pepper. Sometimes it's spicy, but not most of the time because it is made with the sweet peppers so uh, it has this very uh, mild taste so it's more for color okay now this cayenne pepper definitely is very very spicy because just now we saw remember the shu the scoville heat unit it this one is it, this one lies around i think it lies around thirty thousand to fifty thousand units so it's very very spicy so a little bit goes long way but sometimes you know you add and you don't see the color to uh, to the dish and you're like oh maybe you know i have to add more so make sure uh, you are very careful about this when you add this now comes the red chili powder you can uh, get them in some mexicans uh, you know mexican aisle or you can get them in indian stores or even some kind of very specific ethnic stores but this is this definitely has other spices either sometimes it has garlic powder or um, yeah, I have seen you know there are a couple of other spices people do add to this so uh, it cannot definitely if, the, uh, if your um, recipe calls for paprika then you cannot add this or the other way around because the, the taste will be totally different this one in our household is very common that it's um, it's actually uh, the recipe is very 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 peculiar uh, and it is always um, handed or uh, handed over by the uh, earlier generation and uh, uh, you won't believe each indian household have their own red chili uh, powder recipe as well and even the red chilies they uh, their types differ from region to region so if you travel from south to north the red chilies will be different and their powder recipes will be different someone will add different kinds of red chilies and make the powder someone will make only one uh, make the powder with only one red chili so everybody's um, dish might taste different with the same ingredients so this is very very common uh, back home 
Okay, so this was all about the chili powders, the cayenne, the paprika, uh, and the chili pepper, and also about the Thai chilies. And uh, it was a very interesting research because I had no clue about the Scoville heat unit till I read about it, and it was it was very uh, very very interesting i thought because uh, we know that there is major of a cent centimeter has is as a unit or even pounds for uh, you know uh, for any kind of a weight but uh, we had no clue that even the heat or spiciness can be measured scientifically and it has the unit called sh so that was something i learned myself and it, uh, it was uh, it was fun to know about but this was all about the chili peppers the chili powder all all these uh, worth learning uh, chilies so stay tuned for next uh, spice now guys the spices are getting very harder you can say because I am even I have to research a lot read a lot because there is a spice name lovage and there is one of the spice name uh, I can't even pronounce them properly unless I go through a couple of times. So these spices, uh, I have I've never been using it at home myself. So I'm going to try recipes with it. I'm going to uh, try to learn more and bring a lot to you. So please stay tuned uh, for the next spices. And uh, any new spice, if you want to explore, you know where to find us. Uh, please like us, share about us, all these videos and also subscribe to our youtube channel and take care and bye for now